you know, you have a great day. We'll come back to you for more later. In the meantime, let's talk about the insurance sector. The insurance premium data for December has come out. Not just that, Axis Bank has revised its deal with Max Financial. The right to acquire 7% additional stake in Max Life will be at a fair market value. To discuss this as well as the December data, we are joined by Nitin Agarwal, the head of banking, insurance and financial research at Motilal Oswal. Uh, Nitin, good morning and thanks for joining in. Before I talk about the Axis Max deal, I wanted your thoughts on the data that came out for December. It looked like a weak month, especially for names like ICICI Pro and Max Financial. Uh, what's your view on that now? Yeah, hi, good morning, Sonia. Yeah, really, the numbers for the month of December have been uh, on the softer side only. I think that's a trend which has been going on for most of this year. And uh, ICICI, Pro Life, and Max have reported relatively much weaker numbers, both reporting like a decline in individual APE for the month. But for the industry, the, the numbers uh, were around 16% growth on individual APE. And uh, this was led completely by SPI Life and somewhat by HTFC Life, which did relatively better versus the others. Okay, all right. Hi, Nitin. Uh, Nitin, uh, you know, uh, yesterday the market was a little bit wobbly, but we did see Max Financial move higher because now that deal is going to go ahead. They're going to be getting some more money for the, that 7% stake that Axis will be acquiring. My question to you is, this is good news, but how much of it is in the price? Because valuation-wise, well, the stock is not cheap any longer. Your take. Yeah. See, this deal is very critical for uh, Max uh, Life because Axis is one of the largest distribution partners and it has driven the numbers all these years for Max. And uh, being the largest banker partner that it has, uh, so once like uh, the issue came up, it, it really like uh, uh, put a question mark on as to how the numbers can unfold in the coming years. But uh, with this, I think clarification that came yesterday, and uh, wherein IRD has now advised that Axis can uh, uh, like uh, complete the deal of remaining seven percent stake buying at a fair value. So that uh, basically takes away that overhang that the stock was in, and we have seen the stock uh, recovering in the recent weeks. Even yesterday, it was up like another uh, four five percent odd. And uh, I think uh, relatively because the stock still trades cheaper in the sector, when you compare it to stocks like uh, HDFC Life or SPL Life, Max is still relatively lower in terms of valuation in the pegging order. So as the now the fundamental performance improves, you see growth returning back because even this month was relatively weaker from Max. I think the stock can uh, see some more uh, relief in the coming weeks or coming quarters. Uh, Nitin, hi, morning. Uh, so within that space, uh, what is uh, what do you like best? What do you like least? Yeah, so uh, our uh, preference has been more towards SPI Life, uh, wherein uh, we believe the growth uh, ratios are much better. Uh, and even on a three-year CAGR basis, which is now more like uh, logical to look at given that prior couple of years were affected uh, by COVID. And uh, SPI Life uh, uh, over three-year CAGR run rates also is doing relatively much better. And uh, I think uh, on the back of recent uh, sharp recovery in margins, SPI Life is now on track to deliver industry-leading ROEVs. Like our published numbers, we are already looking at ROEVs reaching towards 22%. Because it has now plugged the margin gap versus peers, and the growth rates are running amongst like the uh, best in the industry. So which is where we believe the valuations still leave a decent upside uh, to like uh, play out. Got that, got that. So you're saying that there are more, there's more valuation upside for SBI Life. What's happening with HDFC Life? It's been a long stretch of underperformance that HDFC Life has seen vis-a-vis -vis its peers. And I mean, even if, the, if you look at the last one year, right? I mean, a year back, it was at almost 700. Now it's sub 600. Do you see any scope of recovery here? So, uh, see, uh, HDFC Life, like, post the uh, merger between the HDFC Bank and HDFC Limited, which is ongoing, there has been some overhang that has come in on the stock. And... Uh, uh, separate to that, uh, the numbers also for the most of the year were not as uh, strong for the industry. Though HDFC Life relatively did much better, but because the prediction growth has not been as much coming through, uh, we have seen margins like other peers overtaking HDFC Life, wherein earlier HDFC Life used to be the industry leader in terms of margins. So that, uh, to my mind, has affected the stock price performance. But I think as now uh, clarity comes in, in the coming quarters, numbers are already getting better you may see some uh, performance uh, showing up for the company. We have a currently a neutral rating on HDFC Life, which is there now for almost like three and a half years. Okay, pleasure speaking with you. Thanks, Nitin, for joining us and giving us a quick take on the insurance sector. By the way, the uh, pre-opening rates have adjusted absolutely flat. So let's get straight to talking about individual stocks then.